The estimator? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It doesn't, so if you enter your bottom depth, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 and, it'll, and you're going down, it'll auto switch time to surface to time to bottom. That's pretty deep though, so I'm not going to. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, whatever it is, if you. There used to be a problem. Let's see if it still does it. Delete, 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 delete. Cool, okay. They fixed that bug. There used to be a bug if you deleted all the numbers and then kept going, it would just close the program. The whole, whole GUI and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Fine feature. No problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one. So, okay. Button, button. This used to be a toggle. So, this is engaged. You can step forward by one meter. Your X, Y, step, okay. one meter, port, one meter, whatever. Change your heading, step up, down, okay? And when, historically, when this was selected, you could not do any of those inputs from here. Okay. Then when you toggled that the other way, it would mean these would allow you to do your auto adjustments, auto X, Y adjustments, and these wouldn't work. Then someone said, why would I ever want this thing to not work? That's a bad design. Make it always work. So they did that. But they did not remove this because this was hard coded somehow. This needs to be engaged in order for these to be on. This, all that does is disables these eight buttons. That's all that does. So press the button button, everything works as you'd expect. <laughs> I don't know. There's talks about getting rid of it, but A, it's very deeply coded into the code. And B, it's kind of funny. So there hasn't been the motivation to get rid of it. The auto alt and auto depth double tap. So these ones, they're obviously both controlling your Z height. Okay. Uh, and they're using different sensors. The, when you use this one, this button auto depth, this, all this does is engages your auto up down in whichever one you had previously selected. It always works. Great. If you want to switch, you need to use the GUI. When you switch, it takes the previous set point and applies it to the new sensor. So if your depth is, you know, 300 meters, yep. it's going to, and you say auto alt, it's going to say, oh, you want 300 meters of altitude. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Or, or I don't remember which way it is, but if you do it once, you either sh shoot up or auger into the ground. Yeah. So that's the story there. Um, and turning it on and off twice doesn't have that problem. I don't know why. Again, it's on the list of bugs to fix, but it's really hard to get people to fix the bugs. There's not really any... Yeah. We struggle with code ownership around here. So, yeah. But, you know, when we get a chance, there was some bug improvements and some work done on it during Shakedown this year. Um, I can't remember what exactly was fixed. I have it in my notes somewhere, but there are improvements when we have opportunities. It's just hard to get all of them all the time. Yeah. You know how that goes. Can you please put bubble on gauges once you got your winch figured out? Yeah.
Okay. Roger. Great. Well, that was not transitioned, I don't think. <coughs> Yeah, cool. Thank you. Can you please remind the deck we're going to have a dangly cable? Twelve meter dangle cable. It's one of those things I'm sure Josh told him as well, but just in case he didn't, then uh, better safe than sorry.
don't remember if I told you or Josh, so I'm going to just say it again. We're going to hand over at 75 meters yep. payout, but not depth. not depth. Yeah, okay. And then if they ask, we can come up for the recovery. If they ask how fast, we can do 15 meters a minute. If they don't ask, don't tell them it's fine. They'll figure it out. Hey Trevor. Hello. Can I ask you an unrelated question to this recovery? Or a related are you too question? Busy? Unrelated. Oh yeah, sure. No problem. Um, have you done gas tights with Hercules? With the goose? With Hercules. With Hercules, yes. I've done these U of M ones. Are you a University of Minnesota ones? No, the have you done the UW ones? Like the just the manual push press. Yeah, we have a thing that fits onto the manipulator to auto press them. Yeah. Um, I don't think we'll be using that this time. Great. I think we're using the electric ones, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to use both. We've got some old school ones as well. Great. Old school. I don't actually know if they're older, but you know what I mean. Okay. Um, I was more wondering if they fit in the bio box. Is that the, the small ones. The plunger ones. You're asking. The, the manual press manual ones. Manual press ones. Uh, or if we have to read yes. something up on the porch. The manual ones do fit in the box. I mean, I guess we can test this on deck. Let's test it on deck. Yeah, uh, AJ, I'm 80% sure they fit for uh, stuffing them in there for a recovery, like not very grabbable, and I'm 65% sure they fit in there in a way that we can grab them out and use them for deployment. Yeah, and I mean, there, there could be a world where we can fit it on the porch on its way down, secured, but then bio box for the way up because once if we like whatever rip it off the porch yeah it's harder to to bring it back up on the porch i think we're going to be going down from author we're going to be going down with a broadband seismometer which is pretty big but i think you could probably still fit a gas tank next to it on the porch are we not doing the electric ones we uh, pretty sure we're doing electric ones this next dive uh, i think we are too but i don't see them here in the dive plan roger no dive plan Da, da, da. Two knives, two there gas tanks. Maybe type. manual ones left at the seafloor, if that's relevant. What's that? There may be gas tights from last, uh, or maybe two years ago even, no, left we, at the we, seafloor. No, we got them back. You did? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're streaming out pretty nicely. Wind is uh, coming from a weird angle, and current's coming from a nice angle. Love it. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, transitioning to recovery mode now. So, I'll talk about any other gas tight stuff later. Okay. 10 meters to hand over, or f eight, four meters to hand over. Math, can't not my strong point. I'll stop, 7-5.
for all launches and recoveries. Okay. ROV is ready to continue when you are, when everyone is. Sure is. <laughs> Can you ask them if they're actually hauling in? Deck, make sure they're ready for... You know, you know what I'm saying? Can you ask them if they're recovering? Because they shouldn't be. Oh, Mike's about to stop them. Deck, control. Ed? Are you recovering? <laughs> Are you proceeding with recovery right now? We're going to be stopping at five zero meters. No, stop there. Stop where you are. Um, ROV is requesting that you stop here. Sure, I'll stop. Raj. Deck control. Go for deck. Captain is on the bridge. Control is ready for recovery. Do that. Break, break. Bridge, back deck. Back deck, bridge. Request to go ahead and continue uh, recovery of the ROVs. Charlie to recover. Do that. Break, van. Recovery speed, would you like it at 2 0? 1 5, please. 5 meters. Roger. We're going to go to 50? What? No, you're not. That's not what we're doing. Calling in. All right, here we go. Can he get a goal? Let's do launch recover salvo. You also have that purple button over there. It's, it's, it's the same, I just pressed it, same as if we both press it. So that sets up the cameras in this configuration. Yep. I know it's on your checklist at a different time, but you can stop the sonar now. If you want, yeah. Just while while we're thinking about it, while I'm thinking about it. Ooh, the ground pulse down to 99k. Hey, ONC back row. Yep. Can I secure your CTD, please? Uh, first, I'll turn drivers off. Roger. Okay, driver off. Okay, power is secured. Thank you. Just while we have it in the water, might as well see what that ground fault does. Good, streamed out okay. Position's good. Delta's good.
That's great. Bridge control. Go ahead. Can we reduce thrust to 25%, please? Cables looped around the parking position. Hopefully that doesn't swing out of there. What could go wrong? Van, back deck. I have eyes on Herc lined up in the goalpost. Roger. Sure, thanks. <laughs> Scare you? <ya? laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm watching this wire cam right now, Dave. Yeah. And that's my, yeah, you know what's going on. Exactly. Right now I'm doing nothing because we still got ship momentum. I think we lost USBL at about 10 meters, which is unreal for being 75 meters or 50 meters behind. Like, pff, crazy. All right, so now I'm just acting like a tagline. Again, we're still streaming ahead a little bit, so I don't need to do much, but I'm just watching tension. No. No, now it's a lot of standby. <laughs> You see how the vehicle's lined up with the port bulwarks there? Yep. That's about, that's in the A-frame by this camera. So if you're in the A-frame on this camera, it means you're bet you're somewhere off the transom. You're not out too far to the side. Yeah. So that's what they want to do. They want to see that before br they bring Adelant on board. They'll leave it at the surface until you get that, so that the tagline's pulling the right way. Yeah. Now that they're in, but not tied down, I'm going to try to not pull on this very hard and as soon as they get those two straps on they're going to loosen off the air tuggers and then I'm going to use some tension and pull ahead loosen up the air tuggers I'll pull tight and we're tight good yes bridge control go ahead Please increase thrust to 90% and hold position. Hold position. So this is a, that was an important time to not have a lot of tension. Mike walks through the bite there. Yeah. He's out of it now, but there is a time there where I'm really careful not to do some weird side tug, I don't know, something. And a lot of this is just hang out at this point. So speaking of side tugging, I'm staying straight aft. As soon as he gets this third ratchet strap on, we're less worried about twisting the sled. Yeah. As soon as that's on, I'm going to start lateraling to starboard. So he's on there, I'm lateraling 100% to starboard. I'm just monitoring my tension with any fore off movement. Meanwhile, of course, always watching the res. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And and the bubble cam for your res. I bet they went in pretty hot. We there's no need to dive with the res more full than ten PSI, but yet historically we have and some people still do. That does not need to happen. Because then you get this action. So 
So on the top right, bubble cam got gauges. Uh, the three on the right, the middle gauge, that's your reservoir, that's your hydraulic reservoir for running the thrusters. As the oil heats up, it expands and pressure increases, but full is where it's at right now. So if you increase the volume of something that's already full, the pressure spikes and can pop things. The difference between 12 and a half PSI and 25 is about three tablespoons, four tablespoons. Yeah. And in a system that is, you know, three gallons, that's, there's no need for that. So you see I've been 100% lateral since I said that, and I'm not making much progress. There's still a little bit of ship momentum, which is fine. And also, we're not on the wire yet, so it doesn't really matter yet either. If you're talking about why we don't come around, it's also lack of ability. <laughs> lack of um, lateral capability of Herc. Yeah, totally. So 20 times. Yeah, Herc being 20 horsepower is sufficient for what it does and what its goals and objectives are. It is also bare minimum for a vehicle of this size. Bare minimum. Some people like to do this with auto heading. I don't, but that's a personal preference that's not necessity it does take one variable out of the equation but it gives you a little less flexibility so that's up to you what you want to do there I'm saying this to Josh for tension so you see the sway limiter is the aluminum uh, thing on the end of the crane. Yeah. I want it to be about there. If it's totally straight out like that, that's a little too tight. Yeah. And if it's slack and hanging down, that's too loose. So I'm not going to be driving back towards the crane. I'm going to let them pull me in. But I don't want to be fighting it and having it like like stuck straight out. Bare, barely, yeah. Yeah. Because the, the real danger is if you back in too much, then you get the, the line in the thruster or soft uh, loose spool on the on the crane, which is lame later. So I'd say I'm on the tighter end of OK right now, but it's all right. I'm trying to manage that heading and lateraling. is solid so I'm not worried about it popping if it hasn't spiked yet it won't and back deck Hercules is 20 meters from the transit 20 meters Roger This is the only system I've worked on where you don't have someone on deck telling you exactly what to do. You know, heading 20 degrees to starboard, drive full laterals. But it's also the system with the best camera coverage, so. Yeah, just a little different. Here's that side loading that I was trying to beat but couldn't. ship's holding position over ground, which means it's going through the water at 1.7 knots, so there's only so much you can do yeah. with a vehicle, a 20-horse vehicle with coaxial laterals. Yeah, I can, uh, I can 
trying to beat that. Yeah, totally. Can't do anything about it, yeah. Another good use of wire cam now is you can actually see the vehicle in it at this point, so you get your distance off transom, just another perspective. And as it comes, as the vehicle comes around, sometimes it's farther out, the person sitting in the video seat will follow it with this camera if necessary. Yeah. And if they don't, you can just wake them up. But usually pretty good about that. closer than I want to be right now, but what are you going to do? And uh, Hercules is past the trans. Roger. I can just focus on heading now, keep me away from the ship. And we come out of the water, put it into low pressure, put it into bypass. Nothing else I can do with heading or anything. Josh is on it. And deck, uh, Hercules is past the transom. Or out of the water, sorry. <laughs> high voltage secure. Out of the water, high voltage is secure. Yeah, so I like to wait for, before you leave. I like to wait till Herc's over the bulwarks. If you go now, by the time you've done that and pulled the key out and walked out, they're still focusing on landing the vehicle, so they can't hear you anyway. There's no need to rush for that. I used to think it was like, you get there as fast as you can, get it done, but like, if you can't tell them, then it's yeah. the same as having it not done at all, so. All right, fly at her. Thank you.